Greetings, Kubernetes family, and welcome back to theCUBE studios here in Palo Alto, California. My name is Savannah Peterson, dressed as Fippy today because it is the most wonderful time of the year. We are just 60 days out from KubeCon North America in Salt Lake City. I'm joined here with John Furrier to help me give a preview and a bit of a teaser about the editorial, the sponsored, as well as the analyst coverage we're going to have on the ground. John, are you as excited as I am about KubeCon? This is going to be the most exciting year because this year is the platform of Kubernetes is becoming so mainstream. It's also its 10th anniversary, our 10 years. The Cube has been there since day one when the seed of Kubernetes and KubeCon was formed. We were in the room while it was happening. We've never missed the KubeCon. It's one of our most popular shows. It's the most deep in terms of community engagement and love for the Cube and everyone else. So from a content standpoint, it's awesome. It celebrates the past of Kubernetes, but also the future. And I think this year with the 10 years is going to be quite an amazing year, Savannah. So we're looking forward to North America. It's going to be a fantastic show. Uh, we've got great editorial lineups as Kubernetes that, you know, is, is evolving and hardening because the gen AI wave of applications is coming and the cloud native infrastructure is the future. We have an amazing sponsorship lineup opportunities for folks wanting to get the word out. Of course, thought leadership and demonstrate their capabilities to the community and share that it's always available. Yeah, definitely. If you are watching this and getting excited for Salt Lake, definitely do reach out to John, myself, and Rob Streche, our three hosts for the show, or any of your favorite analysts at theCUBE. We would love to hear what you have in store for the rest of 2024 and talk about opportunities to tell your story in a creative way, in a creative location, and we can even get creative about the costumes if you want. So don't hesitate. Coming off the back of yeah. Paris, I'm particularly excited. Yeah. We were talking about how Kubernetes is having its Linux moment. You and I are Kubernetes yeah. OGs, and I feel like the conversation has yeah. really yeah. spread out across into the enterprise. It's not just an open source conversation. It's not a project anymore. It's a, it's a true platform that's helping companies realize their yeah. containers. I think there's the future innovations in Kubernetes are going to be all about making it the operating system for what will be the runtime environment around generative AI, you know, API integration, AI integration, AI is going to overlay into the APIs. I think the, the tsunami on the open source side with AI code, you're seeing a Cambrian explosion. There's so much developer frenzy right now in open source specifically, Savannah, as you know, you know, the models are getting faster, smaller, cheaper to run, more capability. The performance is there, the AI PCs are coming. The entire landscape of our world is changing with generative AI and all the innovation. Sergey Brin said yesterday, you know, hey, this is a time I don't want to miss out. And you don't want to miss out with the cube here this year because Kubernetes is going to be the foundation with cloud native services and everything wrapped around it. People are going to start to settle into their swim lanes. You're going to see the fashion wars go away. You're going to see people talk about how do I get this up and running with the platform engineering to add in the data engineering and there's going to be a lot of discussions. Do I run Kubernetes on bare metal? Do I run it in the cloud? Do I run the runtime with say VMware Tanzu? A lot of different conversations, but at the end of the day, it's all about how do I get it up and running to get those apps out there, the intelligent applications, the agent apps. So it's going to be a good couple of years for platform engineering. I think it's going to be totally nice agree. settle foundation and you start to see stuff being built heavily on top of it. Yeah, I think, I think it's a really exciting time. We're, we're starting, you know, we talk about making AI real. Kubernetes is definitely one of the platforms that's going to do that. And one of the things I always love about KubeCon, both in, in North America and in Europe, is we get a mix of yeah. enterprise and startups. We have companies, I'm thinking of a Johnny Dallas as an example. We have very small companies doing huge things. We have very big companies working with those players to achieve the applications and technology of the future, so. Yeah, Savannah, you brought this up last time in Paris with Rob Stretch. You guys did a fantastic job and the Thanks, content was great. Of course, the savvy swag segment. If you're watching, make sure <laughs> you bring good swag this year. Uh, we're going to have that swag segment, always, yeah. a, always a hit. Yeah, but security and AI integration will be the top story in my mind. And the role of Kubernetes will play as it gets boring. It becomes cloud native con. But you guys brought something up that I think is going to be a continued focus is sustainability. You're going to see a lot more focus on energy and why energy is important and, and keeping that power down. It's going to be a big part of Supercomputing 24, another event we'll be at as well. This is the future. The foundation infrastructure is hot. Cloud natives continue to be hot and as always should be a great year. 
yeah, I think it, I think it's going to be fantastic. I love that y'all have been there. You met me at KubeCon yeah, yeah. North America back in 2021. It's my two-year anniversary actually at the Cube at this one, so it's very yeah. exciting. And I'm really excited to hear what the community has to share with us this year. It's always a thrilling time to be alive and in the Kubernetes cloud native space. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the whole Cube team here or us personally. You know, our Twitter DMs are open. Yeah. I think I speak for John and I, and we can't wait to see all of you, nerd fam, fit and all of our friends in Salt Lake City, November 12th to 15th at KubeCon North America and the Cloud Native Foundation's marquee event here in the United States. My name is Savannah Peterson. Thanks for tuning into the Cube here in our Palo Alto studios in California. We look forward to continuing our Kubernetes coverage with you in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm.